I'm going to go over some basic definitions and examples from section 2.2 of your text. There are quite a few terms to learn from this section, but this video is only going to cover a few of them. Hypothesis, conclusion, which are parts of a conditional statement or a conditional, and vacuously true. To get started, let's define a conditional statement form. The conditional of Q by P, where P and Q are statement variables, is if Q then P, or P implies Q. Those are both grammatically correct things to say. We denote that with either a right arrow or a double right arrow. Both of those notations are correct, and EP uses the first. P we call the hypothesis, and Q we call the conclusion. So to clarify, the word conditional applies to statement forms, and when we take a conditional statement form and we substitute statements for those statement variables, we get what's called a conditional statement. And here we have the truth table for any basic conditional statement form. As you can see, the only case that's problematic is the second row, where P is Q, where P is true, but Q is false, which would make this statement, if P is Q, then Q is true, it makes that statement false. All of the other cases get trues. Now what about those two bottom rows where P is false? We have a term called vacuously true, also known as true by default. If a conditional statement is true just because P was false, we call it vacuously true. Here are a couple of examples. If you show up for work Monday morning, then you will get the job. That is a conditional statement. Fine. If you do not show up for work, that statement is true. It's vacuously true. It's like it doesn't apply. Here's one more example. This is a basic conditional statement. If the Longhorns go to the Sugar Bowl, then I will give everyone an A. That is a conditional statement. Here are some cases. If the horns do not go to the Sugar Bowl, it doesn't matter what I do with the grades. The conditional statement will be true. It is vacuously true. If the horns go to the Sugar Bowl and I do not give everyone A's if I was lying, then it's still a conditional statement, but it's a false statement. And finally, if the horns go to the sugar bowl and I give everyone A's, I told the truth, then the conditional statement is true. So this is the plain language version of that truth table from the previous slide. 